What's going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede and in this video, I'm gonna be taking y'all through what I eat in a day to build lean muscle mass. So one of the most asked questions I get, especially at this time of the year, is how to gain muscle the right way. A lot of you guys seem to go on a lean bulking phase and then what you do is end up cutting like four weeks and making no progress. Actually, most of the time you end up regressing, which means that you lose the progress and even more progress that you made after you quote unquote bulk because you just go too fast, you eat too much and you just simply don't know what food foods to eat, what kind of recipes to make, and overall the principles of a proper lean bulk. So if you are expecting eating endless amounts of donuts and drinking copious amounts of chocolate milk, this video is not for you. I am going to teach you all how to bulk the right way and how to build lean muscle mass the proper way. So if you enjoy this video, you want to see more lean bulking and muscle gaining videos, make sure you smash the like button. I know I do a lot of fat loss stuff, so I'm sure this is going to help you all just as much as my fat loss content. With all that being said, Said, let's get started. I want to give you all as much value as I possibly can in this video. And so it begins. I want to show you all exactly what meal number one is going to consist of with all the foods you're going to need to make this. So what we got going on are some whole eggs, spinach, and mushrooms for the vegetables, along with lots of fruits. Pretty much every single berry you can think of. Well, not every single one, but you get the point. We got raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. That's a ton of berries. And then we have a top secret ingredient here. So look, guys, before we get started, I quickly want to throw out a massive disclaimer here in that this video is for people who are looking to gain lean muscle mass and lean bulk the proper way to build muscle as a natural. It's so sad that I have to disclose this, but man, YouTube nowadays is filled with people who are not natural giving advice and people who are using PEDs. And I think that's just not simply, you know, common sense for somebody who's not natural to follow that kind of advice in the gym or in the kitchen because it's gonna work completely different for you. So I only think it's fair for me to disclose that at the very start. So this will definitely help you out if you are, you know, focusing on building your physique as a natural. And I know you guys are gonna love these recipes and how I typically eat on a daily basis. <laughs> So I just got done preparing meal number one and man, is this gonna be super delicious and filling. You guys are gonna be making this every single day and you're gonna thank me for it, but check it out. It's gonna start with a simple egg scramble. We have three whole eggs cooked with a spinach and feta chicken sausage, which is high protein, lower fat, it's really, really good, with some mushrooms and spinach, AKA my vegetables of choice with my scramble. And then the top secret stuff we got in the bowl, which is that bag I showed y'all earlier, is Brotes. So Brotes is a protein oatmeal company that I I am personally launching. I've been working on it the last two years of my life. Literally every single day, there's been something that comes up with the project of broats that I've been working on. So we have maple brown sugar, which is what I got right now in the bowl, along with chocolate peanut. These are gonna be the two first flavors of broats that I'm gonna be launching very, very soon. Just stay updated with my vlogs and videos. I'll keep you all updated on broats, along with the social media rollout with broats. Obviously, it's not gonna look like this. The regular bag is actually gonna be twice the size, guys. So there's gonna be 10 servings a bag and each serving is 71 grams so it's a really big massive bowl and there's 30 grams of protein per serving in oatmeal no oatmeal in the world's gonna have 30 grams of protein it literally tastes like crack if crack was a really really good thing that you should be using every single day but anyways i'll keep you all updated especially when the social media is officially launched for broats and we have an official launch date hopefully really soon but we got one serving of that which is a massive filling bowl with tons of berries on top to really bulk up the meal as well so three massive tips here that you all need to know. These three tips are going to help your lean gaining or muscle gaining journey big time. So listen up. Number one is to make sure you have less frequent, higher calorie, but more balanced meals. What that means is personally, I like to have three meals a day. You don't have to eat five, six meals a day. If you're bulking, just simply increase the calories per meal and sit down, eat, enjoy it. You know, wait five hours when you're actually hungry, you know, listen to your body, then have the next big meal and make sure each meal is very high protein and also a balance in carbs and fats. Not too much fat and little carbs or too much carbs and no fats at all. It's all about balance. That is realistic, guys. So the macros for this specific meal is around, what, 
60 something grams of protein, around 60 something grams of carb, and 28 grams of fat, with almost 800 calories. Very filling, very balanced. It's all about balance. I know it's super annoying to hear that. We hear it all the time, but seriously, it works with your diet as well. It's good advice. And then tip number two is to eat your damn vegetables and fruit with your lean bulking diet. For some reason, every time people are focused on that word bulking, they immediately eliminate vegetables and fruits in their diet and they focused on high calorie foods. You wanna make sure you still stick to filling wholesome foods like fruits and veggies. Include them as much as you can in your meals throughout your days. Trust me, it's not only gonna keep you full so you don't overeat on your bulk, it's also good for your micronutrient health. You know, your inside. It's not all about the outside. Actually, the outsides kind of matter more. Let's be real, but you know, you, you gotta take care of your inside. Finally, tip number three, and this is huge. Okay, listen up. You wanna make sure you stick to a simple go-to meal you have every single day that you really enjoy. Something very easy to make. So for me personally, I always have that chicken sausage and egg scramble with my vegetables along with the broats. To switch it up, I'll either have chocolate peanut one day or maple brown sugar broats. So just switch up the flavors in the broats and then just throw different types of fruit on top. That is going to make sure you stay consistent because when you have a simple go-to meal, you don't question too much about what you're gonna eat and it sets the tone for your day to really succeed with your diet. So trust me, try that out. You can be more creative throughout the day, but try having that first go-to simple meal. It's gonna keep you consistent throughout the day and really set the tone. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Broats with some raspberries. This oatmeal is gonna be addicting. I'm telling you, you're gonna get addicted to it and you're also gonna be eating 30 grams of protein in a serving, so it's gonna be insanely good for you. Mm, there is so much freaking flavor, so much flavor in this protein oatmeal. Cannot wait for the whole world to have their hands on broats. I'll keep you all updated. Officially time for another recipe walkthrough with Cooking with Suede here on the Food Network. By the Food Network, I mean Asil Suede's YouTube channel, but hopefully one day on the Food Network. If anybody has a connection with the Food Network, hook your boy up. Holy crap, I said Food Network a lot. But check it out, I'll take you all through another recipe. If you guys love these recipe walkthroughs and showing you all exactly how I make these meals step by step, then make sure you smash the like button. I'll keep them coming in this full day of eating and what I need in videos. But check this out, we're making a bodybuilding lean ziti rigatoni recipe. You guys you're gonna love this, especially if you're Italian or you like Italian food. That is the worst Italian accent I think ever. Check this out. What we're gonna do is just a couple of ingredients. We need some roasted garlic pasta sauce, chickpea pasta, it's called banza. This is rigatoni, literally pasta made from chickpeas. It's got higher protein and um, a little bit lower carbs and higher fiber. Really good stuff here. Look, a huge tip guys, make sure you find awesome, more macro-friendly uh, substitutes for foods you usually eat, like, you know, banza instead of your regular pasta, right? Or, you know, broats instead of your regular oatmeal for more protein. So anyways, we also, have some dairy-free mozzarella cheese. This is dairy-free called Daya. Just, I feel like cheese sometimes screws up my stomach, especially when I'm in like a calorie surplus. I know that's really weird. Here's another tip as well. Foods that you get more sensitive to when you're bulking, aka in a calorie surplus, try to uh, find better options for them so they sit better in your stomach and you don't feel like shit. But anyways, we also have 93.7 lean ground beef, cilantro, and green onions. That is going to consist of all the ingredients we're gonna need for this epic recipe walkthrough. Follow along, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cook ground beef on a medium heat pan. Boil chickpea pasta for eight minutes. Add roasted garlic pasta sauce to the cooked ground beef. Throw in cooked chickpea pasta. Throw in the shredded mozzarella on top. Garnish with green onions and cilantro. Cover this for eight to 10 minutes and let it all simmer in together. And this is going to be legendary. Thank me later, my friend. So it's safe to say that cooking with suede is an absolute success and I definitely deserve that Food Network show, but check it out guys. If you wanna see more recipe walkthroughs just like this, be sure to give the video a like right now. Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys are absolutely gonna love meal number two. Be sure to give this a try. It's an absolute banger. And look, if you wanna get this recipe step by step to see exactly how to make it, it's in my cookbook. So be sure to check out the Bro Cookbook. There's over 100 plus high protein recipes just like this made with 
simple whole foods. There's been thousands of people that picked up the cookbook literally just the beginning of this year. So check it out. I'll leave it linked first thing in the description box down below. So many people are making epic recipes like this and they're loving it. And look, this is only a third of that entire pan that I showed you all. The macros listed on the screen are for half that entire pan. So it's very filling because these are made with simple high protein whole foods. So you can eat a lot for little calories. Even while you're bulking, it's really gonna fill you up and keep you lean. So check this recipe out in the cookbook or just in general, make it. I showed you how to make it step by step. This is gonna be a classic and definitely a go-to for you guys to make while you're building muscle and even losing fat, man. Wow, so good, holy crap. Gordon Ramsay, where are you at, bro? Let's do a Seal Suede versus Gordon Ramsay episode or on the Food Network. Somebody hook me up. Honestly, he's probably gonna kick my ass, but with high protein, healthy foods, who knows? Cheers, y'all, to the squad, the Suede squad. <laughs> Look at that, man. This is definitely Gordon Ramsay approved. Mmm, so good. No games wasted. Just a quick intermission before the gym. I promised I'd always fill you all in on when my protein is having insane flash sales. Well, today is the last chance for you guys to get 46% off your entire order with code ASEALVIP at checkout. So you can get this entire bag of Impact Whey Protein for $16. I'll share a screenshot on the screen right over here. It's absolutely mind blowing. So be sure to check out the protein powder that I always use, all of my supplements, you know, the protein bars, etc. Things that are gonna help you hit your protein in take goals for the day because that is so important when you are focused on building lean muscle mass and this just makes it a whole lot more convenient guys rather than just like stuffing your face with chicken and lean meats all the time check it out linked instruction box is down below get 46 percent off by using that code of clvip at checkout again i want to fill you all in on when my protein actually has these insane flash sales so all of y'all can constantly be stocking up at the perfect time for a budget-friendly diet Hey guys, so I just got to the gym and I wanna take you all through my back and shoulders routine. Just a couple of exercises and what I like to do in the gym when I'm focused on building lean muscle mass the right way. Okay guys, so that is gonna wrap up back. Literally just two exercises. So when you're focused on building your back, when it comes to building muscle, just focus on a pull down exercise and a rowing exercise as well. For three sets of around six to 10 reps and focus on progressing the strength in that rep range. Okay guys, and that is gonna wrap up shoulders. Literally just two exercises as well. We start off with a pressing exercise, aka the dumbbell shoulder press. Literally so simple and effective for three sets of six to eight reps. And then we ended off with the dumbbell lateral raises for three sets of 10 to 12 reps as well. So here's a huge tip when it comes to back and shoulders as well. Or just in general, any kind of muscle grip. You wanna really make sure you get those deep strokes. Holy crap, that does not sound that good. But what I mean is for example, with back, you wanna make sure you're really overextending a little bit, not to the point where like injuring yourself as well, but also just so you're really pulling and leading with your elbows and feeling that muscle contraction. Also, with shoulders, you wanna lead with your elbows a lot of the time. You wanna make sure you keep kind of your elbows tucked in with the pressing exercises. These are just little things. I'm always trying to help you all out with your lifting. So you wanna get stronger with good technique, okay? We're not here just throwing weights around. We're using deep strokes in the gym. Chris Brown would approve. So yeah, it's like a mixture of Chris Brown and Arnold Schwarzenegger all in one in the gym. And a little bit of a seal sway. Look, anyways, that's just gonna wrap up back and shoulders workout. I know it's not a lot, but literally all you need is like four exercises. Try hitting every muscle group twice per week and I promise you will see results. Speaking about results, a lot of you guys are always Ask me what my personal workout plan is. Look, I follow a chest, arms, legs, yes, legs, back, shoulders, workout split, typically three, four, five, or six days per week, depending on my schedule. It can always change, but that's typically my core routine. If you want to follow my core bodybuilding workout routine as a natural, I'll leave my shred plan link description box down below that gives you access to my workout plans that you can follow every single day and guaranteed see results. Okay, so check it out. Link in the description box down below. Figured I'd fill you all in on this because there's so many guys always asking me. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, go home, give you all some more epic tips in the kitchen when it comes to building lean muscle mass the right way.
All right, guys, so I'm back from the gym, better prepare meal number three, AKA the post-workout meal. And this one speaks for itself here, but you can never go wrong with it. Dwayne The Rock Johnson would definitely improve on that. And that right there is Hollywood's secret to six pack abs and 10 million plus dollar movie roles to get ripped in like one month. Just kidding, not really. So I'm sitting down to meal number three and I was not messing around when I told you all that we have got ourselves a classic Dwayne The Rock Johnson meal. So what we got going on for meal number three is gonna be 200 grams of cooked white rice with six ounces of cooked boneless skinless chicken thighs and a cup of stir fry vegetables on top. Honestly, this is not rice, chicken and broccoli. It's rice, chicken thighs and stir fry veggies. So we're taking a classic classic bro dish here and adding a whole lot more flavor to it. But look, in all seriousness, guys, just a few tips here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Make sure you have simple, easy go-to meals like this in the fridge. I like to cook up a lot of chicken breast or chicken thighs in bulk. Keep it in there. A lot of carbs like white rice and vegetables, obviously veggies to add to the meal in bulk as well and keep it in the fridge. And that way it takes me like two minutes to quickly whip up a meal like this. So have at least one of these ready to go every single day to stay consistent with a diet. It's just going to be very easy to do because we don't all have realistically time to be in the kitchen all day with a fancy awesome meal we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this classic bro dish like a true bro that we are it really is good honestly there's nothing wrong with this All right, family, so I'm ending off the day of eating today with some popcorn. So I'm actually having two bags of these healthy pop minis. This is low fat popcorn. Traditionally, popcorn is loaded with butter, but this only has two grams of fat per bag and it's low calories. So I'm not just having one bag, I'm having myself two because I'm bulking, bro. But look, Mel, this is a massive tip here is to find healthy, macro-friendly, convenient snacks or food items that you really enjoy to use on a daily basis. You know, things like those healthy pop minis, things like broths in the future, things that's really gonna help you stay consistent and are easy to make. We're gonna make this as sustainable and realistic as possible. But look, with all that being said, the total macros and calories in what I eat in a day to build lean muscle mass consisted of 2,659 calories coming from 284 grams of carbs, 86 grams of fat, and 204 grams of protein. Look, I really hope this video not only helped you figure out what you can eat to build lean muscle, but also gave you tons of tips on how you can do do so as a natural because I'm just sick and tired of like the internet being clouded with unrealistic, unsustainable stuff that expect the average person to follow on a daily basis. Look, I'm really not trying to be a motivational speaking guru here, but if I as a type one diabetic for over 23 years of my life can do what I do on a daily basis, feel confident, feel happy about myself and just achieve my fitness goals and inspire millions of people along the way, I promise you can do it too, okay? Just keep it realistic, keep it simple, keep it sustainable and on that note, as well. I'm only mentioning this because I feel like so many of these lean bulking or muscle gaining videos you guys see on the internet, people are plowing through four to 5,000 calories a day. That is not realistic. If you are like me, with average genetics and has to work a little bit harder, you can bulk on 27, 28, 29, 3,000 calories, even 2,500 calories. You can't be eating 3,500 plus. That's just advice for the average person. I really hope you guys can just take these and run with them. And if you did enjoy this, you found any sort of help throughout the way, make sure you smash the like button on this YouTube video right now and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you want to hit the notification bell as well so you never miss on uploads every single week. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.